Hello guys, how are you this evening? I hope your day has been fantastic. Hey, coming to you uh, late tonight to show you uh, a recipe that's new to me. But I went to a strawberry farm up here today. I'm really hoping, by the way, I've got enough reception for you guys to see this uh, with some quality. It is a little bit dubious. We've been off the grid now for... Uh, Oh, five days maybe we were out western Queensland and I'm really hoping that uh, we're now in the southern Atherton Tablelands area and hoping that you guys can see what I'm talking about so hey Carissa lovely to have you on thanks for saying hi so today we went to this beautiful strawberry farm uh, I think it was called Shaylee's strawberry farm in the Atherton Tablelands and bought the most amazing strawberries now their strawberry season has literally only started a week ago so uh, in September they do uh, they allow you to go pick your own however because it's the first picks of the season it's all done for you uh, although they did have amazing ice cream and coffee and it was just beautiful so they've just newly renovated as well absolutely beautiful cafe so if you're ever in the area highly recommend it but anyway bought a punnet of their beautiful strawberries so i went on to a cookie dough i thought what am i going to make so strawberry vodka shot it is i'm not going to make a full batch because that would use the whole punnet and i want the kids to be able to enjoy them as well because these they are amazing they you know how sometimes you buy them from the shops and you can tell they were ripened artificially these are not like that. So I'm going to do a quarter of the recipe. Um, and I also think if you don't drink vodka or you don't drink full stop, soda water would be beautiful. It's like you're making like a, like a, I guess nearly like a lemonade style, but with the strawberries. So don't feel like because it's got vodka in it, you have to kind of skip it over. Definitely give this a go. So let's get cooking. There are some differences I'm going to do, like I haven't frozen my, my strawberries. So let's get cooking straight away and I'll show you this. Now let me just zoom you guys down to the, oh, that's up. I told you guys I'm on my L plates for this uh, little dingle dangle thing here. And my screen is back to front because my Samsung doesn't know how to turn it around the other way. So I do apologize that you're in reverse, but I will tell you what's going on. So no, first things first is 100 grams of sugar. As I said, I'm going to quarter it. So I'm just going to put in, and I'm using monk fruit sweetener. You guys know that I typically do that. I'm going to put in uh, about 20 grams, maybe 25. We'll see how we go. These don't actually need much more sweetener in them. They are super sweet. But I do think if you're buying them you know, from the supermarket, you may need a little bit more in there. 20 grams of sugar. Next, insert the measuring cup. We're going to make this into icing sugar. Those of you with a the Thermomix, you'd know this tip. 10 seconds speed, 10 off it goes. And then icing sugar. I'm having trouble driving this thing tonight. Sorry, guys. I was just showing you that the plumes of icing sugar are coming out the top. So even though I've used a monk fruit sweetener, it's still... It still does exactly what you'd expect caster sugar and ice and raw sugars to do. Because you know, once you've got a thermomix, you don't need to buy all these individuals. Scrape down the sides of a spatula. I don't have a spatula out. I'm not going to worry. 600 grams of strawberries. So I've got 150 grams here. It says frozen, hulled, and quartered. Well, mine are not massive, so I'm happy to put them in at that sizing. Um, and certainly they're not frozen, but we'll just go with what we got. 140 grams. Okay, 100 grams of cold water. So I'm just going to put in 25 grams. I suspect mine will be a bit, I guess, oh, 127, whoops, a little bit sludgier being that it's not frozen, but I think this will still work out perfectly fine without measuring cup. Now, this is because you're supposed to put the spatula through the lid, I think. 40 seconds, spin it to speed five. I'm not going to take, I don't think you guys can quite, you can't see the top of my Thermomix. I'm actually going to leave that on. Because I don't have the berries frozen, it's going to make probably a big mess <laughs> otherwise. So let's just spin this up to speed five. And then it tells you to keep going. It says gradually to speed ten. significantly less food in there that I don't need to do the full time that was on there I don't know what I've done then but it must have been about 20 seconds um, scrape down the sides now if you had frozen berries you'd find it's a lot like uh, I guess a sorbet where it's fully frozen and it's hard to work with being that they're fresh this is actually just super juicy I'm trying not to spill this as I show you guys by the way you can see there it looks like juice it looks literally like strawberry juice scrape down the sides and the lid with the mixing with the spatula put the lid on again and it wants me to do it for 10 more seconds I don't think I need 10 more seconds scrape down the sides and now it asks you to add some lemon juice 
think I've got, this is either lemon or lime. It's come from home. I'm not sure which one. So we need 25 grams of that. Whoops, there's a seed. I'll just get rid of that in the sink. Sorry, guys. Let's keep going. So we're going to put that in. So that's going to really bring out the flavor in there. It's that really nice sweet. Uh, I, the sweetness comes out when you put an acid into it. That's what we're doing here. So in this goes. You guys know that have been watching me for a while. If you don't, I'm about to tell you, keep this for your dishwasher. It's a beautiful um, shiner for your dishwasher. I'm trying to think what it's called. But the bit at the end that means your glasses come out all shiny. So you actually put that in the tray of your dishwasher. And it uh, means you don't need to buy that stuff. What is it called? Yeah, it'll come to me later. If anyone knows, put it in the chat. It's a spa. Rinse aid. That's what I'm after. Rinse aid. Now it says to add 330 grams of vodka. So this would be where you'd add your vodka or you'd put it away in the fridge for another time. So you don't have to put that vodka in. I'm not going to because it's getting a bit late for that. Although I still might try some. Um, so 30 seconds speed six. We will not. Thank you, Carissa. Rinse aid. We will not need 30 seconds. So we'll just spin it up. It'll take about 10. <laughs> Actually trying to grab up into the cupboard because I want to show you the color of this and I know this is the wrong glass but you know we're a bit limited in the caravan at the moment so let me show you what this looks like as a final product it looks beautiful and I reckon with that vodka in there or a soda water it'd be just absolutely amazing so hello Kim lovely to have you on true that never too late for vodka <laughs> all right let's see if is there a way that I can do this so you guys can see there we go so let's just pour this in. Obviously, this is only going to be a couple of hundred mils. And what I love about putting it into a bottle, there it is. Sorry, I'm trying to hold it where you guys can see. What I love about putting it into a bottle is really you can now put that in the fridge and when you want to use it, this could be ready for your, your girl's cocktail night. You could then on the night add the gin or the vodka or the soda water or whatever you want to it and it's literally ready to go. And you can use this as the mixer as well. So look at that. Isn't that beautiful and luscious coloured? So this is without, that would have 110 grams of vodka, soda water, whatever you want to put with it, uh, which would bring it up. And I reckon that would be enough for I don't know, that sounds like a lot of serves, really. 50 grams of uh, vodka. I'm not sure how much is at a shop, but that sounds really potent if it was just for two. So maybe that's a four serve. Not really sure. I don't drink that much to know. So there you go. Give this recipe a go. Try it as both, I guess, a cordial or a juice with that soda water. Try it if you're into vodka and gin and that sort of stuff. Give it a go because it's a really beautiful way of having a fresh, amazing food and drink without preservatives, numbers, additives, all those things in it. And, you know, as the season goes on and the strawberries get cheaper, you know, it's a great way to also use up those strawberries, but keep it in a sterilized jar for later on when, you know, the kids want a cordial equivalent and a flavored or a flavored soft drink equivalent. So anyway, guys, that's it from me today. It's so lovely to get on. I do hope this has got enough reception to come through at a decent quality for you guys. It has been a trying time. Um, I'm going to put together the blogs from um, our time off grid a bit over the next few days. So keep an eye out for that. But uh, yeah, I am back online now. So oh, thank you, Belinda. A standard shot is 30 mil. So I guess this is probably about four drinks in there if you're going to do that. But take care. I will be back tomorrow for some more cooking. Please remember to share uh, the page with your friends and family who might be out and about in our beautiful country, uh, checking out, you know, what's going on in the world out there at the moment, as I'd love to show them how easy it is to have a Thermomix from any kitchen, regardless of how small it is and how cramped. You guys should see the mess in here when we've just come in, you know, off grid. It's a bit crazy. There's washing up, there's washing this everything's everywhere but anyway it's lovely to be back online with you guys reach out if i can support you in any way with a demonstration online obviously uh, or if you just want to talk recipes and things like that that's what i love to do so please take care and i will see you tomorrow sometime bye guys